Hello and welcome to the Import Export Hub channel. My name is Bogdan and today I'm going to talk about the imports and exports of Romania. If you're new on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I really hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so let's start. For those of you who don't know, Romania is a small country located at the crossroads between Central, Southern and Eastern Europe. Member of the European Union from January the 1st, 2007, Romania began the transition to, from communism in 1989 with a largely obsolete industrial base and also unsuited to the country's needs. After the financial crisis from 2008, the economic growth rebounded in the 2013-2017 period driven by strong industrial exports and excellent agricultural harvest. In uh, 2017, the industry sector outperformed other sectors of the economy and exports remained an engine of economic growth, led by trade with the European Union, which accounts for roughly 70% of Romania trade. Domestic demand was the major driver, largely because of tax cuts and large wage increases. Okay, so after this short introduction about uh, Romania, I want to dive directly into the numbers and for this I've prepared an Excel file. Before I dive into the numbers, I just want to make an important clarification. In this video, I will cover only the imports and exports of goods, not services. I've already processed this Excel file and will cover just the imports and exports for the top 10 partners for each flow. I've divided the file into 8 sections covering the top 10 uh, import and export partners and then selecting the top 3 partners for each flow. Ok, so let's start and see who are the top uh, export partners of uh, Romania. First export partner is Germany followed by Italy and France. Hungary, United Kingdom, Poland, Bulgaria, Turkey, the Czech Republic and the Netherlands complete the top 10 export partners of Romania. It's clear from this that 90% of the exports of Romania are with the members of uh, the European Union, with Germany by far the most important partner, more than Italy and France combined. Also, it will be interesting to see how the exports of Romania with the United Kingdom will develop from 2021 onwards. Now, let's see what did Romania exported to Germany. Here we see that uh, chapters 85, 87 and 84 are the most important ones, but also chapter 40 and 94. As for the Romanian exports towards uh, Italy, we see again that uh, chapters 85 and 87 are on top, followed closely by chapters 64 and 62, which tells us that uh, Romania has lots of production facilities dedicated to the fashion industry, as we will see again in the exports of uh, Romania towards France. And speaking of France, Let's see what did Romania exported uh, there. Again, chapters 87, 84 and 85 are on top, followed closely by the furniture chapter, rubber and uh, clothing. So after going through the most important chapters, we see that for Romania there are some vital export uh, chapters. The auto industry, chapter 87, the rubber sector, followed by the furniture and apparel sectors. Returning to the table of contents, in order to see who are the top import partners of Romania. And we see here that, again, Germany has the first place, followed by Italy and Hungary. Poland, China, France, Turkey, the Netherlands, Russian Federation and Austria make up the top 10 uh, list. Again, we see that 80% of the imports are with countries from the European Union and again, Germany is by far the most important partner, more than uh, Italy and Hungary combined. Also, I expect that by 2022, Poland will increase the share in the Romanian exports and surpass uh, Hungary. As for the Russian Federation, more than 70% of the imports are represented by natural gas. Now, let's see what did Romania imported from Germany in 2019. We see again chapters 85, 87 and 84. 
We see also that Romania imports quite a large amount of pharmaceutical products, chapter 30. In terms of uh, balance of trade, we see that chapters 85 and 87 have a positive balance of trade, while chapter 84 has a negative balance of trade. Looking at the imports of Romania from Italy, we see again that uh, chapters 84 and 85 are on top with quite a large deficit on chapter 84. We see here uh, chapters 41 and 64 which are in strong relation with the exports of Romania as the manufacturers in Romania are importing the raw materials in order to manufacture the finished products. Again, chapter 30, pharmaceutical products, it's in top 10 with more than 200 million worth of imports. Moving on to the imports of uh, Romania from Hungary, we see that uh, chapter 85 is in the first place, followed by chapters 27 and 30. An interesting fact is that Romania is importing a large amount of meat from Hungary, more than $200 million. Before I finish this presentation, I just want to point out some of the vulnerabilities that Romania is facing and that could affect the long-term growth and economic stability. First vulnerability common uh, in most of the developed countries is the aging population. Then we have the emigration of skilled labor, significant tax evasion and insufficient healthcare. Another vulnerability, in my opinion, consists of Romania, strong dependency on few industries and export partners. And I think that the government and the private sector should focus and extend the value creation to other industries as well in order to reduce the dependency on those few industries. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to comment and push the like button if you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, business as usual.